Hey everyone, this is Emmy. Today I'm going to show you how to crochet these easy slippers. So let's get started. To make these easy slippers, you can either use two strands of worsted weight yarn or one strand of a chunky yarn, and this is line brand Thick and Quick, and a 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. To make these slippers, I'm working with two strands of worsted weight yarn and 6.5 millimeter crochet hook. And because I'm using this mixed yarn, you can't really see the texture of the stitches. But I have some here done in a solid color. And you can see that you cannot tell that those are single crochet stitches. Start with a slip knot. Chain 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Slip stitch to join and form a ring. There's the ring. Carry the yarn in along the outside of the ring. Chain one. Make nine single crochet in the ring. One, two, six, seven, eight and nine. Slip stitch to join in that first chain one. And now you can pull this yarn end and close up that hole. Chain one and turn. Make two single crochet in each stitch all the way around. One, two. One, two. One, two, all the way around. Okay, I've made two single crochet in each stitch around at the end of the row. Slip stitch to join. Okay, so now I'm going to chain one and turn. And now I'm going to work the single crochet that does not look like a single crochet when it's finished. So I'm going to work, so this chain one takes the place of the first stitch. So now I'm going to work only in the back side of the stitch, this stitch, so single crochet, and then the front side of the next stitch, single crochet. In the back side, single crochet. In the front side, single crochet. You're going to repeat that all the way around. Back side, front side, back side, front side, all the way around. Okay, I worked all the way around at the end of the row. Slip stitch to join. And you're going to repeat that row. So single crochet in the back side of the stitch, single crochet in the front side, single crochet in the back side, single crochet in the front side like that and you're going to continue to make as many rows as you need for the front of the foot okay i worked a total of six rows Okay, so now I'm going to chain one and turn back, working in the back of the stitch and the front of the stitch, back of the stitch, front, okay, I worked across the row, but I'm going to leave the last four stitches not worked into. So I'm going to chain one and turn. That takes the place of the first stitch. So work in the back of the stitch and the front and the back and the front. You continue around. 
Okay, I worked across that row, and I'm going to continue to work this row until the slipper is as long as the foot. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've worked as many rows as I need for the length of the foot, like that. And now you'll slip stitch to join the heel. So fold the work, pass through a stitch on one side, pass through a stitch on the other side, and slip stitch. You continue that all the way down to join the heel. Like that. Now to make the band, I'm going to attach two strands of yarn in the heel end. And chain two. One, two. Double crochet where you would normally see the next stitch. Now you're going to skip where you would have the next stitch and you're going to go and work in the next. So you'll be working two stitches together like that and then skip the equivalent of the next stitch. So double crochet double crochet in the equivalent of the next stitch and then skip the equivalent of the next so leave a space you're going to work all the way around skip the next equivalent of a stitch skip Skip, And then at the end of the row, slip stitch to join. Chain two. Now you're going to work the front post double crochet. So the same as making a double crochet yarn around the hook. Insert under the post of the double crochet. And complete the double crochet. In the next stitch, you're just going to make a regular double crochet. Front post double crochet double crochet I'm going to repeat all the way around okay I worked all the way around at the end of the row slip stitch to join and fasten off and there's the finished slipper and there you go that's how easy it is to crochet these slippers Thanks for watching. Bye for now.